Hi everyone, in the news this week, it was Chinese New Year as well as Burns Night. I had a friend who combined the two events into a Chinese Burns Night and I didn't want to go but he twisted my arm. Also a man was killed by one of those mechanical telescopic urinals in London. Engineers are searching for clues but they say they've got nothing to go on. And more trouble in the NHS as midwives are going to be the next to go on strike. Midwives? You may be next time we can at least give everybody nine months warning. You know, the last of those, the NHS struggles, are of course the latest in a series of things that's portrayed by the BBC as being uniquely British and almost certainly to do with the Brexit vote, something that happened nearly seven years and four Prime Ministers ago. If you actually look at what's happening over the water, France has a ban on sales in paracetamol, blaming a Chinese export ban, and Germany's also facing shortages in painkillers, antibiotics and heart medication. Curiously, the main solution being proposed there is to get the private sector more heavily involved in the German healthcare system. And that would probably go down as well with the BBC as having to report on the fact that the French doctors are also going on strike. You won't see that on the news. They're more likely to ask Jim Davidson to come back to the UK and host Question Time and then report the facts. Over the water, Canada and the US are restricting the availability of cold and flu medicine, blaming international problems to do with supply chains. And they don't have a strike to contend with, although I did see a story about terrorists being ready to strike at any time, and I wondered when they'd had time to form a trade union. It's unclear if Unison or the GMB ever reached out to the likes of British terrorists, although I can imagine Bob Crow going for a curry to meet potential applicants. But NHS reporting, in part it's due to laziness, it's far easier to take a press release by someone agitating for a pay rise than it would be to investigate complex issues, especially when they don't do anything to advance their preconceived agenda. I'm honestly surprised that the BBC hasn't claimed that climate change is all due to the Brexit vote, or possibly due to the British Empire inventing the Industrial Revolution. Although I could see Nicola Sturgeon trying to apologise for giving the world people like James Watt or Adam Smith, you know, demanding money from London so she could pay reparations to the third world, like some kind of demented six-year-old. The talking down and apologising for history is, of course, just the latest tactic of Remainers, Rejoiners and others. A series of increasingly desperate attempts to find downsides to Brexit and ignore the effects of lockdown or state mismanagement and to dishonestly claim that global issues only affect the UK. The unfortunate thing is it's not even that difficult to find problems in the NHS report on state-funded homeopathy is a good example. Although to give credit where it's due, I think the less evidence there is for homeopathy, the more effective it is. Is that how it works? Anyway, see you next week. If I need to click subscribe. Bye.